Hey everybody, Unstable Gamer here, and welcome back to Looney Tunes World of Mayhem. In this video, we're going to be breaking down the Boxers team. We have the entire team here. I'm going to show some footage behind me of the entire team, and we're going to break them down and take a close look at them and see if they're a team that we really should be going after. So we're going to discuss that. But first, before we do, if you're just now finding this channel and you want to stay up to date with this and other games, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out. All right, and welcome back. So let's just dive right into it. Here is your boxer team here. And one thing to point out about, point out about this boxer team is this right here. So it's built around the ability to counter and stack attack ups. Like there's no tomorrow, they say. So taking a look at the kit, we're going to take a look at what changes were made to the existing boxers that were in there or as they were previously tagged, athletes. We're going to take a look at that and what the team has. Now, with the counters and the attack ups, I think it's great. There's also some lifesteal in here as well. This is a nice little mock-up from our community manager, the doc. So if we take a look at this, Hippity Hopper, there's a bunch of reworks, so we'll go ahead and take a brief look at that as well. But you got Hippity Hopper that grants critical damage up for each counter chance up. You got Crusher who, who grants counter chance up and lifesteal to boxers. So that's going to help there because there is no support for this team. Similar to kind of what we had with the, uh, the, uh, the crit team or the fiends team. I know that we have Opat that does some, uh, some healing there as well, but... Um, there really is no support for this one. And then we have two tanks. So you have Prizefighter Daffy who gains taunt on enemy taunt and can stun opponents. So that's nice. You also have Contender Sylvester who starts the battle with taunt and can self-heal. I'm a fan of self-healing uh, tanks. Definitely is. Um, it definitely helps when you're in the heat of battle. There are some key tips here. Uh, this team actually gets some bonuses around crate defending. So in Brawl... Uh, defense teams. We're seeing more and more that teams are being created for specific functions in the game. This is, uh, I believe, I believe this is the first team that has a brawl bonus. We have uh, teams that have an arena bonus and an alliance war bonus. So um, this is kind of interesting that we're seeing this as well. So you can see some of the benefits there. Crusher's fighting dirty, passive, turns this team into a defensive powerhouse in brawl. You have attack up, <laughs> attacks up the wazoo, making counters count. So not only do Crusher and Hippity Hopper grant counter chance up to all boxers, but each stack will also increase the crit damage. So that's in, that's important to know as well. The best defense is attack right here, although lacking the support. This is where it calls out the lifesteal, up to 75% lifesteal once it's maxed out. But it still has a fair amount of defense as well. So you can go ahead and run through this. If we take a look at the patch notes, of the boxers or the, the the previous athletes that we had in the team, Price Fighter Daffy, Contender Sylvester, and Hippity Hopper, all of them got stat buffs across the board. Their attacks, their defense, their hit points, their speed. And then if we take a look at Price Fighter Daffy, I don't know why he's got a, a, a rivalry with his own teammate. Maybe it's a friendly rivalry. Uh, but you can see some of the uh, some of the updates here. Unless this tune is incapacitated or, or or has taunt, whenever an enemy gains taunt, he's going to gain taunt. He's going to gain some counter chance up. For two turns and he's going to heal for 10 percent max health for each boxer team member so something to call out here so this should mean 40 percent max health because there's four uh because there's four boxers on the team right granted if you have all four boxers on the team uh down here this is a little bit different here under contender sylvester plus five percent so at the start of battle this tune gains plus five percent max health for each boxer ally so what, the way I read this, this should mean 15%. It should not count him, himself because we're looking at allies. We're not looking at full boxer team members. Whereas up here, we're looking at boxer team members. Um, so we have that. We also have this uh, square up now grants critical chance up to all boxers boxers, and grants Daffy turn meter, which is good. This down for the count now also removes defense up from the target, which is good. And then uh, you have the relationship skills there as well. Uh, contender Sylvester patch up now also grants Sylvester an increase in max health, which we, which we just talked about. There's his relationships there as well. And Hippity Hopper, really the big one that got a ton of rework here, and he's really needed it. He was the first legendary in the game, and um, he's been largely untouched for a very long time. So it's nice to see some rework. Nice to see that he's leading a team now. So we have uh, all uncontrollable and und undodgeable effects have moved into um, this find the angle. So this tuned attacks cannot be countered or dodged at all. 
His tune has plus 35% attack against non-defender enemies. So he's going to do more damage against your, uh, your support and your uh, attackers. Hook now also grants attack up. rope dope now also grants his tune attack up and speed up. Uh, Body Blow now removes a lot of special stats up instead of Dodge Chance, which is good. Uh, Hoppity Skip is now a passive that grants team members Counter Chance up and Boxers Critical Chance up when unlocking Haymaker. Haymaker now removes all buffs, but it can no longer crit. Now this was, um, I had him for a long time on an early team and just really did a lot of crit damage with him, but he can't crit with this anymore. It's a ton of damage that he can do, but he just doesn't get the crits anymore. I don't, I feel that's reduced his damage quite a bit because I was getting some nice, decent uh, crits. But now without that crit, um, I've noticed a damage reduction. Very curious in what you're, uh, what you're seeing as well. And then first minute, first round was reworked to grant boxers more critical damage up and remove enemy stats as well. So this team is all about attack ups. It's all about crit ups. It's all about doing more critical damage. So, and it's also about those counters as well. So it'd be very interesting to kind of see how this team does against some of the other teams that have counters. I did do some playing around on this team. I don't have Crusher. We don't have him out just yet as of the recording of this video. But I did put Outback Dog in there because he's got counter and played around with that because that gave me two attackers and two um, defenders in that team. So pretty interesting there. Um, another call out too, as far as the newest path to, path to Legendary and maybe a reason why you want to collect this team is because this team is required, three of them, look at this, Crusher, um, Price Fighter, Daffy, and Hippity Hopper is required for K9 Anubis. This is a brand new PTL coming to the team. This is also the first PTL that requires a Legendary to unlock a Legendary. So just a reminder to unlock Hippity Hopper. It's the original Dodge team. So you need these four to unlock Hippity Hopper. And then you're going to need to get Hippity Hopper to a 7.7 if you want to get your Anubis K9 to a 7.7. So one of the reasons why you want to unlock this, this boxer team is so that you have the team required for K9 because he's, he is part of He leads the Divine team. The, the Divine team made my top 10 teams. If you haven't seen that video, I'll go ahead and put a link to it up over here. But... Um, they are they are in uh, they are in the top ten as far as best teams in this game, so it's definitely worth it. That's one of the reasons you're going to want this boxers team boxer team. As far as how well this team is going to do overall, I'll go ahead and leave this up here because this is some good information that Doc put together. As far as how this team is going to do overall, I think it's got some good potential. So I do need to do some additional testing. Very interesting. Your thoughts? Taking a look at this full boxer team. What do you feel? How do you feel this team is going to do? Um, what do you feel this team is going to counter? I think um, some teams that just come off the top of my head as far as teams that will counter this one. I think the Magic team uh, would do pretty well. Maybe the Dodge team also. So just kind of curious on your thoughts. What do you think? Who who do you think this team would counter, if any at all? And what teams do you feel would counter this team? Um, very interested in your thoughts on the boxers and the reworks that were done. Definitely let me know. And that is what I had for you today. That's the new Boxers team coming up. We're going to have that full team here shortly. Tomorrow's when Crusher comes out. So looking forward to kind of playing around with this team and see if they're going to hit in the top 10 at all. All right, everybody, that is what I had for you. As always, I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button and share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Take care, everybody. We'll talk to you next time.